Okay, today's topic is varicose veins and spider veins. And I'm gonna share with you 10 ways you can get rid of varicose veins fast, all right? I'm telling you, these secrets and diet supplements are spectacular and very effective in getting rid of varicose veins, which can be very painful and frustrating sometimes. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of drlandervar.com, all right? And before we move into today's topic, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe below. I publish videos frequently on how to cure your disease naturally and effectively, all right? And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or press that share button and let people know about it, all right? If you need supplements, herbs, or natural formulas for your specific disease, visit drlandervar.com. You're gonna find great quality supplements over there. What should you know about varicose veins? Let's talk a little bit about, about that. First of all, they form from weak connective tissue and circulatory tissue in your arteries and veins. And what happens is blood contained in your arteries stretches out your vein and the walls and dilates the structure. So our main goal here in give, is giving your body all the possible tools to keep that circulatory structure healthy. And to start, let's start off with supplement. All right, let's talk about supplements. Uh, my number one supplement is horse chestnut, all right? Horse chestnut has proven to be very helpful with varicose veins and its widespread use in Europe. It has shown to lower leg pain and improve circulatory function in, in individuals that have this problem. It's effective as, a, as, as you know, support stockings in removing fluids from your legs. Uh, number two is fenugreek seed, all right? Fenugreek seed is also great in helping your body repair your artery and vein walls, all right? So look for a supplement that contains Greek, all right? Number three, butcher's broom, all right? This herb is a great anti-inflammatory product. It's regularly used for treating varicose veins because it helps relieve pain and discomfort while shrinking the size of your varicose and spider wings. Number four, ginger, turmeric, and garlic cloves, all right? All of these are excellent in reducing inflammation in veins and blood vessels and improves circulation also. They contain potent antioxidants that will remove harmful toxins from your vein and blood vessels and arteries. And you know, sometimes it's hard to buy supplements for each individual disease. So if you need something that has a complete formula, visit drlandavar.com, uh, take a look at the website and you're gonna find uh, very, very good products and formulas up there, all right? All right, you guys, now, now that we've talked about supplements, let's move on to talk about things you should uh, or you can do uh, to treat spider and varicose veins, all right? Things you can do. Number one is exercise, okay? Very important, very important. You see, diseased veins are most commonly associated with prolonged sitting or standing careers, you know? Heteratory factors and pregnancy also. So you want to exercise daily to help that circulation in your lower extremities and nevertheless, uh, do exercise every day, all right? The best exercise is walking, all right? <clears throat> Walking is a low impact activity that stretches out and strengthens your calves, all right? Thereby improving blood flow. You know, set a goal about 30 minutes a day and at least five days a week, all right? So get out there and do, do exercise, exercise your legs. Okay, number two, compression socks, all right? They help out a lot too, you guys. Use compression socks that can help you maintain a good structure to improve your blood flow, all right? There are many types of varicose socks out there you can purchase. Uh, on the market, so look into them a little bit. Take a look and try try a couple of them. All right, you guys, let's talk a little bit about diet, and more specifically, what you can eat to help out your condition. Number one is collagen, all right? Very important, collagen. More and more studies are pointing out to suggest that poor collagen consumption or poor levels in the body of collagen form varicose veins, all right? I suggest you take a good quality collagen supplement all the time that can aid you in regenerating connective tissue, all right, if you already have varicose veins. Number two are antioxidants, all right? A couple antioxidant foods you can consume are blueberries and bilberries. Blueberries contain uh, resveratrol or bioflavonoids that will help you regulate or strengthen connective tissue in those areas. And again, bilberry is probably the number one antioxidant food you can come up with for varicose veins, all right? And of course, there are other things you can do to help out this disease. Other things like natural stem therapy, for example, uh, removing stem cells from your bone marrow and injecting them somewhere in your body to stimulate repair, that helps out a lot. I treat some of my patients naturally with platelet-rich plasma, or PRP. And this procedure is very simple. You take out a little bit of, of, of plasma for that person and inject it into locations where you need regeneration. 
All right, you guys, I don't want to extend myself too much on this topic. If you need more information on supplements, visit DrIvar.com or check out the information posted online. Um, and don't forget to subscribe below. I have many more videos coming your way on how to treat your disease naturally and effectively. I also will let you guys know when I'll be attending consultations nationally and internationally. I have fabulous equipment and diagnosis uh, for natural medicine on specific needs for my patients. Or you can schedule an online appointment, you guys. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.